Hi there. In this question we're told that Joan is playing golf. She is 150 metres from the centre of a circular green of diameter 30 metres. The diagram shows the range of directions in which Joan can hit the ball so that it could land on the green. Find alpha, the measure of the angle of this range of directions, and give your answer in degrees correct to one decimal place. Okay, so let's have a good look at this and we can see that if the diameter of the circular green is 30 then the radius is 15. We know that the length from where she's hitting the shot uh, to the center of the green is 150 meters. These are all in meters. So we have the opposite length and the hypotenuse. So we could find half of alpha by using opposite over hypotenuse, which would be sine. So let's do that. Let's get half of alpha. So we know that sine of alpha over 2 is opposite over hypotenuse. So that's 15 over 150, which is 1 over 10. So all we need to do is get sine inverse of 1 over 10 and we will have alpha, well, alpha over 2. Sine inverse of 1 over 10 is 5.74 degrees, so that's alpha over 2. So we just need to multiply that by 2 to get alpha. And that means that alpha is 11 point, what well, rounds to 11.5 degrees to one decimal place. Okay, moving on. At the next hole, Joan, at T, attempts to hit the ball in the direction of the hole H. Her shot is off target and the ball lands at A, a distance of 190 metres from T, where the angle ATH is 18 degrees. TH is 385 metres. Find AH, okay, so this is what we're looking for, this distance here, AH the distance from the ball to the hole correct to the nearest metre. Okay, in this the triangle is not right angled. We're given two sides and the angle in between and whenever you're given that the best thing to use is the cosine rule because the sine rule won't work. So we look at page 16 of the tables and we see the cosine rule and we know the angle 18 so the side opposite it is x so that's going to be the first thing in our formula x squared is going to be, and then you have the other side, 190 squared plus 385 squared minus 2 times 190 times 385 times cosine of the angle we know, which is 18. Well, let's put the whole lot into the calculator all in one go, and we get that x squared is equal to 45185.43 so x would be the square root of that is 212.57 and we want that to the nearest meter so we'll say that x is approximately equal to 213 meters at another hole where the ground is not level Joan hits the ball from K, as shown. The ball lands at B. The height of the ball in metres above the horizontal line OB is given by H is minus 6T squared plus 22T plus 8, where T is the time in seconds after the ball is struck, and H is the height of the ball. OK, so find the height of K above OB. Well, what we're looking for here is the height when T is 0. We substitute in 0. And we will get, of course, 8. And the unit is in metres. So, this is 8 metres here. The horizontal speed of the ball over the straight distance OB is a constant 38 metres per second. Find the angle of elevation of K from B correct to the nearest degree. 
OK, well, we would like to know the horizontal distance. I'll call this D uh, from O to B. So how could we find D? Well, we could find where does the function, H is a function of T, which describes the height. When is that 0 again? Because it'll be 0 again at B over here. So let's solve the equation where H is 0, and we'll find the time it takes to get to the point B. And then we'll know it's going at a constant 38 uh, meters per second. So we should be able to find the distance d. So 0 is equal to minus 6t squared plus 22t plus 8. Uh, so let's change the signs and um, divide across by 2. So we have 3t squared minus 11t plus, uh, minus 4 equal to 0. And I think this probably factorizes. Let's check and see if it does. If it does, it'll be 3t and t. And what about minus 4 and plus 1? If I try the inside and the outside, I get minus 12t plus 1t is minus 11t. So that is correct. So I have the correct factors. So let's just continue with that, and we get 3t is equal to uh, minus 1, so t is equal to minus 1 over 3, or t is equal to 4. Well, minus 1 over 3 is no good to me. Um, I can rule that out, because minus w one third of a second makes no sense at all in the context of this question. So my answer is clearly after 4 seconds. Now, if it takes 4 seconds to get from O to B, well, to get from K to B, uh, and it's going at a, a constant 38 meters per second, it's the horizontal speed, we just multiply 38 by 4, because if it's going at 38 meters every second, and it takes 4 seconds, we just multiply 38 uh, times 4 is 152 meters, and that is the distance from O to B. Okay, so now we have a triangle, quite a easy triangle to solve because it's right angled. And it looks like this. With 8 here, it's a right angle. 152 here. And we're asked to find the angle of elevation of K from B. So in other words, we're asked to find this angle here. So let's call that theta. And we just go tan inverse of 8 over 152 is equal to theta. So theta is equal to 3.01 degrees. Make sure your calculator is set to degrees. So uh, theta is approximately equal to 3 degrees because we were asked for it to the nearest degree. And now, at a later hole, Jones' first shot lands at the point G on ground that is sloping downwards as shown. A vertical tree, CE, 25 meters high, stands between G and the hole. The distance, GC, from the ball to the bottom of the tree is also 25 meters. The angle of elevation at G to the top of the tree, E, is theta, where theta is tan inverse 1 over 2. Okay, so we can see uh, we have H is from the distance from D to E, and D is the horizontal distance. So if tan inverse of theta is 1 over 2, we have a ratio which says that h over d is equal to 1 over 2. So let's write that in for the moment. Um, it might be useful. The height of the top of the tree above the horizontal gd is h meters and gd is d meters. Okay, so write d and cd, cd, okay, in terms of h. Uh, well, d, because of this uh, equation here, I can cross multiply. So we have d is equal to 2h. And also, uh, we're looking for cd, uh, which is this distance here. Well, that's going to be 25 take away h. So cd, 25 take away h. So I just need to write my answers into the correct space down here.
Hence or otherwise, find h. Okay, we know that this hypotenuse is 25 meters. Uh, we have CD in terms of h and we have D in terms of h. So let's form an equation because we have a right angle here using the three lengths of the triangle. So we have that uh, 25 squared is equal to d squared, which is 2h squared plus cd squared, which is 25 minus h squared. And uh, we should be able to solve that for h. So we have 25 squared is equal to 4h squared plus, uh, and then I'll open up a bracket here and square out this. So that's 25 squared minus 50h plus h squared. And then just remove the brackets. Okay, what do I have to do now? I can subtract 25 squared from both sides. And what am I left with? 5h squared minus 50h. So I just need to, and that's going to be zero on the left. I just need to solve this. I can divide across by five, so I still get zero. h squared minus 10h. And now factorize, taking out the h. And we get h minus 10 is zero. So therefore, h is zero, or h is 10. Well, h can't be zero because that wouldn't give you tan inverse 1 over 2. So we know that h can't be 0. So in fact, h must be 10. And uh, the units is meters. And we're done. So that was a fairly straightforward context and applications question. And um, that's it finished. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.